Hello friends, welcome back to Block Drive. In this video, we will be looking at what is function visibility in Solidity. So, in the last videos, we have covered about state variables, what are global variables, what are uh, local variables, how to use them. We have also covered about access modifiers such as view and pure, how we can use it with local, state and global variables. If you have not checked out the video, please go and check it out. Link would be in the description below. Now let's get started. What is function visibility? Function visibility in Solidity is majorly of four types, public, private, internal and external. Public visibility can be called from any place. So outside means basically it can be called from outside any contract. It, uh, within means it can be called from within a contract from anywhere and derived means it can be called from any other contract which is inheriting the main contract and other means it can be uh, in uh, basically used from any contract which is not even inheriting the main contract. So private cannot be called from outside, it can only be called from within. It cannot be called from the derived class and it can also not be called from the other contract. For Same for internal but it has an extension to private is it can only be called from within and the derived class. For outside and others it cannot be called. Similarly for external, external can only be called from outside the contract. It can not be called from within. It cannot be, it can be inherited from the derived class, but it cannot be used. So that's why I have kept this as red. And it can be also used from other contracts. So let's hop on to our remix ID and look into what I have just said. So I've already tried uh, to create a contract which has all the four functions private, public, internal, external. And also I have tried to jot down the, uh, the table we, uh, we learned in the previous slide uh, into the comment section so that we have a clear understanding of what is required. Now the first point says is public, private, internal and external. Uh, only public and external is visible outside the contract. Inside the contract we have created four functions with public, internal, private and uh, external. Now we will try to deploy the same contract. and. When you see this, we have external and public, uh, the same what it says, public and external can be used outside the contract. Now, if, if you simply do a, just pass a value, so it would return a value as well. So that's one thing. Now going to the next, moving to the next point, uh, public, private and internal can only be used in, uh, within and uh, external cannot be used with it. So moving to the next point, public, private and internal can be used within the contract, but external cannot be. So we'll create a function, sample function. Now we, now what we'll do is we'll try to uh, call the public, private and internal. So simply when we do this, we can pass name and that's it. So. Oh, what is the error we are getting? String memory. Okay. Oh, I, I missed, I missed to put a return here. Yep. So that's it. So now we are able to use the public and similarly, we can also use private here. There is no error if you can see. Now we can also use internal. And when we try to use the external, it would start giving an error. So now it would say undeclared identifier because external internal properties are that it cannot be used within the contract as it says in the definition. Now we'll try to look at derived. So let's start by creating a class B which inherits A. So in, in Solidity, if you want to inherit a class, uh, you just write is and a. So it would, the contract B would inherit contract A and its function. Now we have to check whether public function is accessible in a derived class or no. Create a string, string x equals to uh, what is the function public 
and just pass a name to Rahul. Uh, yep. So that's it. Now, now if we deploy this contract, you would see. Okay. Uh, you would see external pub. Oh, sorry, sorry. I just forgot to insert this uh, the contract. Now, if we deploy this contract, you would see external and public. Now, uh, to just set this value, you can just say public. So it creates this public creates a getter method for this. Now we will just. Go ahead and deploy. Uh, again, that one to A. We deploy V, and that's it. Now, for the value of X, you get Rahul. So, this is how public functions can be accessed. Now, uh, for the private variable, similarly, if I try private, if I do a private here, so it says undeclared identifier because its scope is not valid now we can similarly we can use internal internal similarly you can do it now if you deploy you run the code uh, okay. you run the code you say x it says rahul so internally also drive can be accessed. So similarly for external, let's take external and put it here. Now it starts, it starts to say that undeclared identifier to mean internal example. So, so now there is a slight difference here in the understanding. So it says derived can be uh, so uh, external can be used as a derived uh, inside a derived class, but when we when we, if uh, now if we go ahead and try to deploy this particular class we see that we we can see an external function here but why is it not being used here because the external has its definition uh, so the definition of external is it cannot be used within a contract so that is why we are not able to use it otherwise it it is it has been inherited in the B class contract, but it cannot be used inside the contract B. So that is what the definition says. External functions cannot be used inside other contracts. Now look uh, now let's look at others. So how do you define others? So let's comment this out first, or let's just say comment it out. And how do you uh, how, just write a contract C and yes, that's it. Now we will basically how, how so how do you access others basically? So you will have to create an object of this particular class. So how do you create an object in Solidity? So you will say same like in variable. If you have to create a string, string then the uh, variable name. So same way. Uh, you have to create a uh, object of the contract class, contract A class. So A, and then you would say, and suppose A is the name of the object. Now you say new and A, and you, okay, sorry, it, uh, A, and then you have created an object of the A class. Now, similarly, if I want to access public, so what do you do is you just simply say, Similarly, something like this, you just simply say public and yes, so oh, sorry, I forgot to put the object, uh, that's why it's giving an error. Now, when you try to access this, it uh, okay, let's also create it as public so that we can see its getter method. Now let's deploy a C contract. You go into this, you see X and the value is Rahul. 
Now, similarly, if we want to do a private, it won't be accessible. Just do a private here. It would say undeclared. Okay, private variable not found, not visible after argument dependent lookup in contract A because it is not visible. Similarly, it would say for internal, it is not visible. And for external, for external, it would be able to do it because now you are accessing the external value from outside the contract. Now, uh, if you do it, uh, we deploy this, we deploy the C contract. So yeah, that's, that's. So in this video, we have learned about how to define uh, public, private, internal and external functions. Also, how to use them within contracts, outside contracts in derived contract and other contracts. So a question which comes to my mind is, how will we choose which function visibility should we use for our functions? In general, smart contract thumb rule is that minimum amount of privileges which can be given to an entity is the best practice. Now, typical beginner's problem which we do is use public for all our functions which we should avoid as we are working with the actual value when working on the main net also because this creates some vulnerability for our application so that's it for the video do like if i was able to deliver something valuable please share subscribe comment if you want me to deliver more such videos thank you